This is the future. the future. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and this is the fortress bulls and we are almost finished. I just decided I want to walk this way around again to give you guys another glimpse of the cemetery and so on since in the previous video we had that glitching and everything and I was also requested to make it look a bit more creepy so I added a bit more cobwebs and I even added some skulls um yeah don't ask me why it just looked a bit more freaky and in the real cemetery there probably won't be skulls lying everywhere but who knows maybe it's, uh, it's a prelude to Halloween or something anyway this is then the cemetery added with a few extra cobwebs and skulls and from this point on you will notice there's a couple of houses standing here as well like this one I am busy building the villager houses so this is the first one that's completed I'm gonna do about four or five of them and then there are four different types of houses that I'm also gonna build so before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. So I'm busy with the, the village. I'm adding the village houses so you guys are lucky to see the first village house already as it is. And um, once the village houses are done all that remains then is the barracks with all its components and the keep and then this build is done but the actual reason for this video was to show you guys the dungeon so like I said I only came, I only came this way around to show you the cemetery again and then well, the house was already standing here, so you guys are getting an extra glimpse of the house. But uh, let me skip the video for a little bit, and then I'm going to take you to the dungeon. And here we are. I wanted this place to look very ominous and very creepy, and a place that you would not want to be. Is also a reason why I put water in here. This actually used to be a cave and I'll show you guys now what's happening there. This is reinforced deep slate rock. So I made sure I used one of the strongest toughest rocks I could find. Except now for obsidian of course. There are all these steel doors everywhere. So let's imagine only the guards can open up this door. Okay. Coming in you've got your reception area or your booking area the guys come in they sit on those benches they come in one by one you book them in put their stuff in that special box and we also have the records for the people that's in here then I've also added this ladder with a guard station on top where a guard can sit and stand and make sure that um, nobody is approaching the prison without uh, authorization you know just to make sure there's no prison breaks or anything like that that's gonna happen okay let's proceed down to the cells uh, this was just to be funny enjoy your stay because you won't see the sunlight for a long long time our first few cells that we have is called our day holding this is now where we keep the small petty crime guys, you know, the drunkards and so on. We've got this guard station. And uh, yeah, if you did something small, you were drunk, found unruly or whatever, you'll be kept in here for a day or maybe for the weekend or so on. 
or maybe for a week depending on how severe your punishment is so this is not for any of the violent crime people this is just for your local idiots they will stay here moving on down we're going to a more secure reinforced area where we have a, a bit more dangerous prisoners um, maybe some zombies or creepers or monsters we'll keep them in here you guys can also hear some monsters in the background because I think there is hollow spaces around the prison where the enemy spawn so if you're staying here this will also kind of drive you insane knowing that there's zombies just on the other side of the wall you will never know when they're gonna break through haha <laughs> going out this way we have a solitary confinement area also notice this is the only two cells with windows so if the guys were good enough I might consider putting them in here so they can see at least some sunlight but even if they broke through the window they'll be stuck under the water there's no place for them to go let me show you why this place is called the Ublet actually it's just solitary confinement so this is for the guys who cannot behave themselves who are too ruly and you want to punish them a little bit you'll put them in here you guys will also see that we are under the water I've placed glass here so that we can be able to move and I place water on top of that so you can just break anyone out of here if you like you want so the idea of the solitary confinement is you've got this lever where it opens a trap door you throw the guy in here and he's gonna stay in here for as long as you want him to stay in here plus you won't be see you won't be able to see him from the outside and the bottom half of this cage or cell is actually underwater so you can imagine this place will be extremely cold and you are not escaping from here at all there's no way you're gonna get out then moving forward to this side this is the one space or one place you do not want to go to is the execution spot this is where we're going to get rid of you if it's your your last days on earth then this is where you'll go I've made a very very deep pit of about 10 20 meters and right at the bottom I added lava so it's a very nice and easy thing we just throw you in there and we forget about you and we won't have to worry about your body or anything yeah, that'll just be the end so this is the last place you want to go to is to this side I even left it bleak and unattended so as you can see it's not it's not very nice then let's close here let's go down to our next section which we will call the torture chamber yes this is actually also in the manual it's part of the manual is a torture chamber this is not my own ideas the only thing it was my idea was the water on top of the the blade and so on so we've got some chains here this is supposed to be an iron maiden I don't know how else to make an iron maiden but this is supposed to be an iron maiden you've got a cactus so the idea is to strap the guy to the cactus and then whip him like a whipping post there's some more places where you can suspend the guy yeah you can drown him a little bit here we've got a dunking chair so you can dunk him backwards into the water We've got a couple of anvils, so you can just imagine breaking some fingers there. Then this is the rack. You know what to do with the rack. You can stretch a guy there. Yeah, we can burn you a little bit, you know, suspend you here with the chains. And we can burn whatever part of you we want to burn. And yeah, we've got some pistons where we can squish you. We can either break your legs, break an arm, or just put the pressure on you, so to say. So yeah, this is my torture chamber and it really does look creepy and I think you can become very creative in this place. And uh, yes, I'm a bit sadistic. <laughs> then our last section of the prison is our gen uh, our, you know, general population. All the normal prisoners will be kept here. So we've got a whole lot of bunks top and bottom floor where the general population will be now I don't know if there will be uh, let's say all the criminals here are gonna be guys maybe we'll put the girls in 
There's other cells. But I'm sure we can make an arrangement. So this is the prison then. I um, think it's straightforward. Nothing more than nothing less. It's actually quite a big dungeon. According to the plans, the dungeon was supposed to be underneath the keep. But I decided to make it separate. So that's it guys. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up. And hit that bell icon so you can get notified of my next upload. Like I said, we're almost finished. Only thing that remains now is the village that I'm busy finishing up. And then the barracks and the keep itself. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed the build so far. It's actually quite a very, very big build. I've been busy with it now for, for quite a while. As you guys can see, I'm still busy finishing this one up. This one is still under construction. But that's it for this video. So, until next time guys, whatever you do, keep it safe. Talk to you later. Cheers.